I was good. How is it? I'm pretty good. I mean, the sun is shining and the weather is super nice. There is birds this summer. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. So I hear you were here at Holly Hymnal. Uh, so do you remember what we're talking about? Fruit? Yeah. Do you remember why we're talking about the fruit of the spirit? It's tasty. Um, remember it's not like real fruit. It's not like an apple. Do you remember we're supposed to bear fruits? Bear! No, not that kind of bear. Like, we, as Christians, we need to bear fruit. So, do you remember the fruit of the Spirit? Do you remember which ones we've done? Jesus. Yes. History. I'll help you. You know what? Because that's the kind thing to do. Okay, so for the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, and today we're doing kindness. Ah. Do you know what it means to be kind? To do something that's nice for people. Right. Do you, do you know the golden rule? Because that's our big idea tonight is the golden rule, which is... Do unto others before they do unto you. Um, no, that's not correct, Dr. Giggles. Are you sure? I'm sure it's not do unto others before they have... I don't even know what you said. What did you say? Do unto others before they do unto you. No, the big idea is treat others the way you want to be treated. So do unto others the way you'd have them do unto you. Okay. Yeah, that's what Jesus said. So, in we find that in Matthew 7, 12, which says, So in everything do to others what you would have them do to you. So that's being kind to everyone, even people you don't like. Even like Holly Hymnal, Dr. Giggles. Uh, she's annoying. But Jesus is asking us to be kind to everybody, even people who are annoying to us. I guess. Please don't make me do another show with her. Please. Well, that not this week. Kind. That, that, that this week, okay? Okay. Okay. But you know, sometimes I can't always be here, so. I can do it alone. I'll keep that in mind, Dr. Eagles. Yeah. To explain more about our golden rule and our big idea today, I have some things that are going to help us, okay? Perfect. So. Boys and girls, I have some objects here, and you can help Dr. Giggles figure out what these objects are are used for to be kind to one another. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Right, okay, so here's my first object. It's a Band-Aid. Okay. So what do you think we use that for to be kind? Takes care of our cheese. Right, so we'd use it for someone who is... Hertzels. Right, awesome. Good job, Dr. Giggles. High five! Boop! Yay. Okay, next, I have this water bottle here. So why would you hand somebody a water bottle? Yes. Of course, make sure that it's like sanitized and, and not already used by somebody first. And not acid. Right, I did say a water bottle, Dr. Giggles? Yes. What are you talking about? Sometimes you really scare me, you do. I use mad scientists. I use any kind of bottles for storing my things. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this is, this is water, this is yeah. water. Okay, okay, so what would we do with this water bottle? Um, put somebody out that's on fire. Um, I would hope nobody's on fire. So that is a really good use, but what would we do to show that they were just kind when someone's not on fire? Thirsties. Right. Good job. Hello. Thirsties. Okay, so I got some cat treats here. What do you think we use these for? Treats in our cats. And how is that being kind to them? Because we're just feeding them so that they're healthy. Well, we already feed them. Extra fruits. 
Right, like, you know, like how some, how Holly Hymnal brought you those jelly beans a couple weeks oh. ago? Um, I noticed them in your lab the other day and you've eaten some of them. Just good ones. Uh-huh, sure. But, I mean, it's a nice treat, right? Because we want our healthy food, but sometimes having a treat is like being super kind. Yes. Okay. Now, I have a last one here. It's noisy. I have some money, some coins here. I should probably really find my BGMC jar and put them in there. But what do you think the coins are for? To prefer his purses. Are you poor, Dr. Noodles? Yes. Are you gonna put it in your BGMC jar? I was going to put it in my pocket. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna help kids that are hurting in other countries that don't have like electricity and TV and toys and stuff. I just hurt it here. How are you hurting here? I just pours this. Um well here, I'll give you some change. There you go. Thank you. So these items are just some ways we can show that we're kind to each other, right? By treating people the way we'd want to be treated. If we were thirsty, we'd want a water bottle. If if we were hurt, we would want a band-aid. What are some other ways we can be kind to one another? When things are better, we can give us hearts. Right? What are some other ways we can be kind to each other, Dr. Eagles? We're just using kind words. Right, so like, you're awesome and you're smart, not like, you stink or, ugh. Or thank yous. Right, our pleases and thank yous, that's another way. I'm sure moms and dads would really enjoy that. Or pushes or shoves us. Right, by keeping our hands and feet to ourselves, we're being kind to one another. Now, for some reason I see a candle on the, on the table. Well, is there a reason you have that, Dr. Eagles? You're, you're kind of scaring me. Yes. That's not very kind. I was not trying to be unkind. I was trying to prove the point. Okay, okay, what's the point for the kids? The point is that kindness starts with a spark. I've kind of heard that kindness is a more spark. like a... There we go. See? Okay. Now, we're just having light, and it started with a single spark. What does that have to do with kindness again? A little kindness can turn into a lot of kindness. Well, I've never heard of the spark thing. I mean, I've heard throw kindness like confetti. <clears throat> confetti means you have to clean up afterwards. That's not very kind. Well. At least a candle smells nice. It gives plenty of light. You do have a point there, Dr. Eels. Bye.